how nice is it to get a quick start like that on the road? Yeah, we're, um, it's a good win for us, good start. Uh, I thought we got better in the second period. Um, we, we were a little bit more physical. Um, so, yeah, that's a, it's a good game for us. Is Cole Sillinger's game rounding into a better spot here now? Is that what's happening yeah, with him right he's now? playing with confidence. Um, he's... Uh, He's he's uh, he's reliable defensively. He's uh, creating chances offensively. He's uh, he's physical. Uh, he's becoming a, a real solid 200 foot player. He, I mean, this is obviously his his third year already in the NHL, full season. Uh, is this something? And you've been here the whole time. It's something you've seen kind of building. I know he had struggles last year, but just he's. It seems like he's put together different parts at different times. It takes time game. for the young players. It, it really does. It's, uh, it's I mean, your first year might be harder. Your second year might be harder. We, we have that way of thinking that the second year is, um, is harder for the players. But what happens is we have no expectations for those first year players. And then they have somewhat of a decent season. And then the second year, we think they're going to make a huge step. It, it, I mean, they don't become that much of a better player over the three four months in the summer and um, I think for for Selinger is his confidence is growing he knows what to expect he's a good pro he's a real mature person he takes care of himself he gets ready for every single games and and uh, he takes his job seriously so he's like I said he's becoming a, a solid 200 foot player it was like uh, maybe late in the second and maybe a little bit into the third there was a bit of a I don't know, maybe a letdown uh, in intensity of battles and things like that. Well, the Did other you, team was pushing too. Yeah, um, that's what we're going to ask about legs. Maybe. Like, yeah. Like the three and five, or five and seven or whatever. Yeah, I don't like to use that, but uh, maybe a little bit. Um, ice wasn't great. Like, it was bouncy quite a bit. Like, there was a lot of bouncing on both sides, right? Yeah. Um, I think we... Uh, we played with the lead, um, trying to protect it a little bit too much. Um, but um, well, I thought overall we uh, we stuck to the plan. We got, Were you the happy? We got the win. Were you happier with the Russian line tonight? Uh, I think they're better than that. I, I, they were better, um, but they're still. I think they have another gear. My my expectations for them are is really high. Um, I, I think I think they can be dominant or, or not every shift don't get me wrong but I, I, I trust them defensively but I think they have another gear offensively how, about, how much is uh, Boone Jenner's ability to, <laughs> we see it a lot to just tip pucks stand down there tip pucks score goals I mean that's a huge weapon for you guys right to be yeah. able to put him down there yeah he's uh, and he works at it at every practice every single practice he works at it that's a skill uh, to know you might get hit by the puck or by an opponent and to be able to tip those pucks. Some guys in the league are really good. Boone is one of them. The Crowley line just gets a goal from Olivier and had a lot of offensive zone time, especially early. Did you get some energy from those guys? Yeah, I thought they were good. They, they're true to their um, identity as a line. Um, it's not flashy, but it's really effective. So uh, they, they had a good game. <coughs> we, we talked just about this game and, and how you couldn't really let down. Uh, you had to treat this like a Rangers game or anything. Is that kind of the, the approach you feel like you guys had in those, you know, first, at least the first two periods? Yeah, I thought we started strong. Um, good start, obviously, the first shift of the game. And then I thought we battled hard those first two periods. Um, they had a push in the third there, which was to be expected, obviously, being down a couple goals. But um, coming on the road and a tough stretch right now, five and seven for us, I actually liked our game tonight. So I think the guys worked hard. It wasn't perfect by any means, but um, you know, I think our whole team played well. Could you guys start to feel it in your legs a little bit, the five and seven type thing? Like, um, as the game went on, maybe later? Or? Maybe a little bit. I mean, I had some long shifts there at the end of the second. Kind of got caught out there for, for an extended period of time, which makes it hard. Um, but, you know, obviously we're we're going through the same thing other teams go through. So we just got to battle through it. And um, tomorrow's an off day, which would be nice. And I'm back to back to finish it off. So, like I said, it was nice to get one tonight, uh, day off tomorrow, and then get, get ready for Monday. I know it's not the same exact caliber of, of opponent has, that has come back on you guys in some of these big leads before. But the more you do this, where you protect these leads, uh, how much confidence can you guys get from each one of these things? Yeah, it's huge. Um, like we talked about earlier, right? Like anyone could be anyone yeah. in this league. And that's a skilled hockey team, they have skilled players. Um, Elvis was, you know, really good in the third period there, making some big saves. So uh, I think it's good for our group whenever we can play with the lead and find a way to close the game out. Um, 
you know, the Rangers a few games ago was a good one. Today was a good one. So it's something to build on moving forward the rest of the season. And uh, I think whenever you can do that and, and build on, you know, these games and these leads, it's uh, it's huge for our group. How big is a, a lift, a goal 33 seconds into the game? Yeah, I mean, uh, definitely kind of maybe takes the pressure off a little bit. You know, I think you're, you're kind of playing, I don't want to say more freely, but uh, you have a lead right early on. And, and I think guys can just get, you know, kind of start feeling it and get into the game a little bit more quicker. Um, so I think it's great for us. And obviously, it's kind of a, you know, a, it's a good forecheck, a good, you know, unfortunate turnover for Jonesy there. It just rolls off a stick, but it's a great play by Tex to, to kind of get us going. And I think his line played really well tonight. I think maybe it starts from that first shift. So um, it's good for our group when we can score early like that. Boone has gotten so good at tipping pucks. And mm -hmm. standing there, and obviously he got hit earlier. How nice is it just, just to have that as a weapon, like, especially you being able to fight a puck center from the range? Yeah, it's awesome. We work on it every morning pretty much. So. Yeah. Uh, I kind of know where he likes it, and it was just me and him there. So I figured, why not shoot it? And he's good at it. So um, it's a great play by him, and that's where he scores all his goals from. You know, it's no, no surprise he's having the year he's having. So it's uh, it's good for him. Exactly. Cole, good quick start on the road. How does that how beneficial is that just to get out to a quick start like that? Yeah, um, kind of. I don't really know. I just like turn, and you know, I think Jones had it. Just fumble off a stick, or whatever, and. Text got it, and uh, yeah, it was good for him to get you know, fired in. And obviously, uh, you know, when you score you know, first shift early in the game, it's uh, it's uplifting. Yeah, to not have to chase the game right from the start, and then you add another one on top of that. That's that's got to be almost textbook the way you want to start a road game, right? Exactly. I mean, uh, you no, know, I thought we were you know, in control most of the night, and uh, yeah, I mean, when you get you know, the start like we did, um, uh, I thought we kept building on it and, and, and did it. Decent, decent job at uh, you know, maintaining that momentum, and uh, yeah, it's good to get a win. Is there any rhyme or reason to you having goals now in three straight games, or is it just the way things work out? I think it's just the way things work out. Um, yeah, I know it's nice to nice for it to see it to go in. You and your line were pretty much all over the net, especially in that first period. Didn't uh, you didn't get a goal? But did you feel like if you just kept that up, that it was going to go in eventually? Didn't I mean, yeah, I liked I liked the way we were playing. I liked the way we were. Know, creating chances and, and supporting each other, and uh, no, I think uh, no, we're just got to keep building. And uh, I don't like our third there, um, but um, no, let's take the positives out of that one. And uh, um, yeah, um, we just got to keep building as a line and uh, as a team. And you know, uh, as the schedule doesn't get easier with the amount of games and, and who we're playing, so um, it's going to be some good tests. I know it's a uh, short sample size, obviously, with with you and Neilander especially playing together, but. Feels like you guys have some instant chemistry, and it keeps building. Is that kind of how it feels like for you guys? Yeah, um, I like to think that too. Um, but yeah, he's. Uh, I've like I said every time you guys ask me about it. Um, I think he's just the smart hockey player, and we think the game alike. And you know, with it's a good combination between me, Tex, and and uh, Nilly right now. So um, like you said, short sample size. We got to keep it going, and uh, we're going to be tested here coming up. Elvis, um, I was talking to a couple of other guys this morning just about how you guys have played so many elite teams, the Rangers, the you know Hurricanes, those kind of guys. You guys really have to get up for them. This is a team that's you know it's kind of down there in the standings with you guys in the same situation or similar situation, trying to grow. How important was it for you guys to not only win this game but to you know come out the way you guys did? I mean, uh, like you said, lately I think we are playing great hockey. Um, I don't, I don't think there is any pressure at all on us right now. We're just literally enjoying the game and, 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 and fighting and battling and, and doing our job well. Um, and and, and last, last few games where we were playing against the teams, uh, we're not even looking where they are in standings, up or, or, or in the bottom. We're just trying to do our game and uh, we're playing well. That's as a team. Uh, does that also apply to you personally, you individually, that you're just kind of playing the game and you, it looks like you're enjoying yourself? I mean, yeah, I, I, I try to enjoy each single building where I'm going to. Uh, uh, in New York, it was great. Uh, Chicago is a great building as well, right? So um, it, it, I'm just trying to have fun. Uh, last year, I did not have fun, and um, I'm just trying to have fun as much as possible as I can. Elvis, uh, it looks like you're kind of in the best shape, you, not physical shape, but, but your game is in the best shape it's been in all season. You made some big big saves each night. Are you feeling like the, right now you're playing your best hockey of the year? Uh, yeah, but not tonight. I'm not happy about my tonight. Uh, I think I left 
too many rebounds maybe in front of me. Uh, it was weird shots and not so many shots uh, from my side. I'm sorry, it was a boring game. <laughs> in New York, it was much more fun. Uh, but they didn't shoot much. Uh, the third period was actually some action. They started putting the pressure right away from the start. So that kind of woke me up a little bit. Um, but yeah, uh, right now I feel well. I feel good, healthy, and um, full of energy. And I just want to start finish the season strong. In those instances, how do you stay sharp? How do you, how do you keep yourself on that edge? I try to lately work more on uh, on, on, on on focusing more uh, and and relax. Like I said, I don't have any pressure on, uh, not even the team. So. Uh, I'm just trying to 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 learn new things and 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 and, and grow up as a, as a man and uh, as an athlete by focusing more on 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 taking the thing taking the things more calmly than usual without stress and and lately that's that's working pretty well for me. I know uh, Bedard is still only a rookie, but he's got quite a shot. Is he a guy that you know when you're preparing for a game like this, you're did you do any video or looking at like how his release is or anything like that? Or? He he's a really talented player. He's a great player, I think. Uh, he definitely gonna do really great in this league, and he has bright future. Uh, but he's in this league as all everyone. Uh, he's not special. I mean, yes, he's young. Uh, he has maybe more skills than other guys, but he's exactly the same as other guys. So uh, obviously you study, but. Uh, on the ice, it's, it's completely different. Uh, there's a different angle than in video, uh, uh, and, uh, and the shots are coming differently. And, and so it's just you need to take it as, as a normal, simple best player in the world because this is the best league in the world, uh, and, just, and just face him.